morning everyone today we are going to solve a problem from the book of Ferdinand Singer strength of materials under the topic pure stress so the members of the structure in the figure weigh 200 pound per feet determine the smallest diameter pin that can be used at A if the shearing stress is limited to 5000 psi assume single shear so we are to determine the smallest diameter that can be used at A. So in order for us to solve for that diameter of the pin, we have to solve for the reaction at pin A first because we are focusing at pin A. Since we are also given with the shear stress at that pin. So we have here the FPD of the structure. We have uh, two members, the members AB and member BC, or the members connecting from A to B and B to C, right? We also have the dimensions. So let us try to solve this problem. Consider this FPD of member AB. So I have resolved the the dimensions and also the length of this member with the use of Pythagorean theorem so we know that there is a uh, force acting at the center of gravity of that member which is its weight we call that weight AB or WAB and we have the reaction force at the pin A and also its vertical reaction so we have also the the horizontal reaction of pin B and its vertical reaction the directions are just assumption for this uh, solution since we don't know yet its true direction but we can determine that by comparing the signs of our final answer to our uh, declared assumption so let us solve for the weight AB so weight AB is equals to 200 pound per feet times 4 squared of 2 feet so why 200 pound per feet because the weight of this member varies depending on the length so since its length is 4 squared of 2 feet so we multiply it by 200 pound per feet so we get 1,131.370 pounds so we already have the value of the weight AB so so let's have a summation of forces along the horizontal so we consider positive to the right so AH minus BH is equals to 0 and AH is equals to BH will let us will let that as our equation 1 so let's uh, have a summation of moment about pin A in order to eliminate these two forces this AH and EV so Weight AB times 2 feet minus BB times 4 feet minus BH times 4 feet. So we multiply the forces uh, with the respective perpendicular distance uh, from A, right? So we consider positive when it rotates clockwise about A. So we substitute the value of weight AB to the equation. Then we have our equation 2, which is 4BB plus 4BH equals to 2262.740. So that's our equation 2. So let's have a summation of forces uh, along the vertical axis. So we consider positive when it's going up. So we have AB plus BV minus WAB is equals to 0. So AB plus BB is equals to WAB. So we substitute the value of WAB and now we have our equation 3. So 
let us consider this FBD for our member BC. We know that its weight uh, acts at the center of gravity of that member and also we have a reaction force at BB which is an opposite direction with the direction we have in the FBD of our AB because that is by the principle of action reaction, right? So, we have these two reactions and also we have reaction forces at the pin C. So, let us solve for the weight BC. So, again, we multiply its length by 200 pound per feet in order to get 1341.6 per 1 pound. So, let's take a summation of moment about C. So, in, or in order for us to eliminate the reaction forces at C because we don't need those values in order to solve for the diameter because we are focusing at pin A, right? So, so BH, BH times 6 minus BB times 3 minus WBC times 1.5 feet is equal to 0. Again, we have considered here positive with it tends to rotate at A. So, we substitute the value of WBC and we have 3BB minus 6BH is equals to negative 2012.462. That's our equation 4. So, we combine our equation 2 and 4 in order to get the values of BV and BH. So, Therefore, BB is equals to 153.516 pound and 412.168 pound. So, from equation 3, we know that AV plus BV is equals to 1131.370. So, since we had the value of BV already, we can substitute it in this equation to get the value of AV. So, AV is therefore... 977.854 pounds. So, from equation 1 again, we know that AH is equals to BH. So, substituting the value of BH, we now have AH is equals to 412.168 pounds. So, since a force is a vector, we can solve for its resultant force because we already have its components or the values of this component by the use of Pythagorean theorem we have this so the reaction force acting at C is 1069.170 pounds so we already have the value of the reaction so from the shear stress formula we know that shear stress equals to V over A or the shearing force over its area so we know that the area that is sheared is pi over 4 d squared or that's the area of a circle because uh, it is circular. So A is equals to V over tau. So solving for the diameter, we have this equation. So we plug the value of RA since that is our shear force and we get a diameter of 0 0.52178 inch or approximately 0 0.52 inch so that's the final answer for this problem